what we got here is a 2019 plate Ford Ranger it's on a private plate so ignore that 14 it is a 19 plate coming to us for the vehicle juddering and shaking from a stop it's been to the main dealer Ford and uh, they diagnosed it to the gearbox subsequently the driver had the gearbox done at a cost of over two thousand pound and guess what the fault is still there he's got fed up and he's come to us to diagnose it and possibly repair it um, if you know about these 19 plate Ford Rangers you'll know they suffer from few common issues one of them is the judder from start so we uh, spent a while actually looking through various things there was a possibility of it being a gearbox and subsequently since the gearbox is done it was something that we didn't look much into it uh, we went through various diagnostic processes and I'm happy to say we found it hence why I've just recorded this video for anyone watching it and going through this issue um, yes yeah, so sit back watch what happens I'll go for a drive first and let you see how he judders. So here we are inside the Ford Ranger. The mileage is only fifty-six thousand on on the clock, so you shouldn't be experiencing the problem that is experiencing. But normally, problem happens after it's warmed up. So as it's cold, we go for a drive. Uh, let you see. Uh, there isn't any judder whatsoever but as soon as it warms up you'll see there's no judder there's no judder as it's cold it's pissing down today as well saturday bank holiday weekend expect a bit of better weather in the summer but no nope, it is uk after all it is something that we are used to so I'll take it for a drive, warm it up, and then let you... Let me see if I can capture the judder on the camera. Probably going to be very unlikely, but yeah. Got tyre pressure warning light on the dashboard, as you can probably see. But as it stands, the vehicle is cold and it's not juddering. But it's only when it's warmed up, uh, that's when it starts juddering. So it's a funny old one to diagnose. Uh, even the main dealer missed it so yeah it'd be like that sometimes still no judder but to be fair it only judders from stop and then once it's gone over uh, 20 miles an hour and stuff it generally sorts itself out it's a funny one it was a difficult one to diagnose and we finally got to where we are so sit back watch what I'm about to show you. So I've driven it for about five minutes, let the vehicle warm up. I'll stop, let you see how it judders. <clears throat> Extremely wet. It's kind of scary as well when it judders because you lose all power. Uh, so you can imagine yeah, when you're trying to take off. Uh, from rest it's kind of annoying kind of scary at the same time let me see if I can stop here and see if I can replicate the issue or maybe it requires a bit more a bit more of a drive to warm it up a bit more let these cars go and then I will try taking off here we go. No, oh, he didn't do it this time. Probably needs a longer drive. So, the vehicle's been running for a while. Let's see if we can replicate the fault. Not sure if you're going to be able to feel it. What's all that buzzing noise? All right, here we go. Here you go. Here you go. 
You're blind. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. There's, there's nothing. Full throttle. There's no throttle response. Uh, oh, blimey. There you go. So you can feel what happens now. It's warmed up. Uh, the throttle, you literally lose the throttle. The whole car literally just shakes from idle. So we're going to stop again. Uh, I think that's the parking sensor that's making noise. <sighs> okay, here we go. Look, look. And then all of a sudden this starts going. As soon as it goes over about 10, 20 miles an hour, it picks up again. Here we go. Look at, keep an eye on the speedometer. This is it. No, it's okay. As soon as it goes above that 20, it seems to be okay. So it's generally from idle uh, to about 15, 20 miles an hour. It's just shake, shake, shakes. Major, major judder. It's kind of scary. So if you can imagine, um, you're at a traffic light and the vehicle is not picking up, it is really frustrating and scary. Uh, this is a known fault uh, on this particular model. Ford have uh, upgraded uh, the issue on the newer model, so you don't really get that as much. You do get a little bit from what I've been told, but not as much as you do on this. So there's no problem now. It's gone over 40, 50 miles an hour, so there is no issues as you can see 50 miles an hour no issues we're going to be approaching a roundabout shortly we'll probably stop then you'll see how scary it gets if you are a novice driver you can imagine how scary it can get when there's no response and the car starts juddering violently slowing it down slowing it down 30 miles an hour coming to 20 and we are at rest let's see how violent it becomes now here we go here we go blimey see there's nothing literally literally there's nothing the car just shaking there you go now it's picked up so I don't know how that came out on the camera but it gets kind of scary when you're trying to take off. Now we're back above 30, 40, 50, no issues again. And that is the issue we're having. So what I'll do, get the car on the ramp and uh, go through exactly what's going on. And hopefully you can get this resolved. I mean, to be fair, you don't completely eradicate it. Uh, even Ford have been unable to completely sort this out it is a manufacturing issue uh, if anything they should recall it and upgrade uh, the faulty part but as with any big companies they're not going to take responsibility for their manufacturing error we just tend to suffer the consequence of it so we're approaching an exit 40 miles an hour we'll slow it down stop again uh, let you have a quick feel not sure if the shake and judder is coming through but I want you to see it on the actual dials uh, possibly see how the dial moves so here we go we're completely at rest I've got a vehicle behind me, so I'll pull up slightly on the left. Here we go. So we're completely at rest. We'll take off. And let's let you listen or feel or see. There you go. That's the first shake, so you can see. Here you go. Second shake. I've got a car behind, so you can imagine. It's still shaking. Still shaking. It's still shaking. Still shaking. It's still shaking. There we go. And now we're back to normal. But yeah. That is the exact issue this vehicle is having. Now that vehicle is over 30, we're back to normal again. Again, we're at a roundabout, so we'll see 
let you feel how scary this is. Oh, blimey. There you go again. No throttle response. Shaking, shaking. Shaking, 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 shaking. There you go. Can you feel it? Now we're up to speed and we're back to normal. So what I've done, I've gone and printed out an online uh, bulletin describing the problem and the actual solution. It's not something that you're going to be able to do, unfortunately. It's kind of complicated to understand. It is a problem on the rear axle and uh, this bulletin uh, gives you a step-by-step -step guide. The problem is on the rear axle where there's an excessive judder which you try to reduce. Uh, let me just quickly give you a brief brief description of what this article is telling you to do. This article supersedes the TSB 22051 to update the vehicle model years affected. So yeah, it's the 2019-2023 range of vehicles which exhibits a judder vibration when accelerating from stop. This may be due to an excessive rear axle pinion angle. To correct the condition, follow the service procedure steps to adjust the rear axle pinion angle. Then it goes through these steps. As I said, I'll uh, put a link uh, online so you can actually go and print it out or even read it and see, get a better understanding of what's going on. I'll get this car on the ramp and uh, let you see it. So we have the Ford Ranger 2019 plate up in the air. Just wanted to get a better idea of the issue that we have found uh, generally what happens is this here this is balancing and this rear axle here needs shimming so unfortunately I really can't show you this shake on this it looks like it's already been changed once is it what's with this number Yeah, it possibly needs balancing, but here on this rear axle, you need to shim this. So you get a lot of uh, vibration coming from here. As you can see, it's already slightly moved on this lip, the leaf spring. It's wet, so you can't see it. See it? It's the original mark in this move, so the vibration, because it's not balanced, it's excessively vibrating you can even see it's slightly misaligned so all your problem is coming from here this rear axle needs to be shimmed here to reduce the shake ideally uh, you want this balanced what causes the vibration also causes the gearbox uh, to break up inside as well. Uh, lucky for the owner of this vehicle, they've had the uh, gearbox uh, refurbed at the cost of two and a half grand, if I'm not mistaken. And that is caused by the vibration, the manufacturer's problem. You see, even at rest here, how misaligned this is. Uh, they've got these TSV shims which needs to be positioned correctly. Uh, there are a few uh, descriptions online we can have a read of, get a better understanding. But people, instead of going around uh, wasting your money on all different things, I would advise you to get that out. So, see if this donut is worn. When I had an assistant up in the air with this race, we actually saw how badly this was shaking. I'm on my own, so I can't really show you. But yeah, that's where your problem is on the on the shake from stop on these Ford Rangers. Thank you for watching. Please share, like and subscribe.